What's up guys, Collector here. Let's do an unboxing. All right guys, I already went ahead and I opened up the package just to make sure everything that I ordered was there um, and just everything was working proper. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's watch that video. Now this package was ordered from Gear Up Airsoft in Canada um, and what I have here is the Matador SSG Annihilator Mod 2. So I'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the manufacturing package. So you have Matador Tactical and logo and then it says take charge. So we have here the Canadian import sticker. So it's showing 370 plus FPS, has to be below 500 FPS. On the bottom, just take charge. Take charge there. And then it's showing gas powered shotgun, SSG shotgun series. Just has safety and warning on the back. Take charge and then QR code. Just top foam cover. So I ordered four packs of shells. So each pack has six shells and each shell holds 30 rounds each. Um, so here, it comes with um, six already. Have a speed loader and a bag of BBs and a gear up patch. Now, if you wanted, the, the barrel can be removed off, and this is an end cap if you'd like to take uh, to shorten the barrel. And we have a QD uh, sling mount. And then user manual. So here is a velocity test report. So first test shot, we have 413 FPS and joules at 1.58. Now for the Matador, Now that I have the Matador SSG Annihilator Mod 2 out of the box, um, for the construction of the shotgun itself, it is almost all full metal. Um, the only thing that is a polymer plastic is the grip and the buttstock. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at some of the features of the shotgun itself. Now we have a sling mount here. Uh, we have a six position buttstock. So I'll probably switch it out for a PTS uh, buttstock. And then here you have your gas valve to fill. 
Um, and then your gas reservoir is inside of the buffer tube itself. So it's pretty good length. It, you can probably get about six shells off per fill of uh, the gas, well, six to eight. Um, and under here, there's the screw to remove the, uh, the grip. I might change out and go with a Magpul um, grip and uh, buttstock, change that up. Um, so you have your safety. The trigger is metal and the trigger guard is also metal. So here we have the carrier latch. You just press that down. You can insert your shell, close the carrier. And then in order to eject the shell out, you do have to press it down. Um, if you don't press it all the way, it'll just open. So you just have to go ahead and do that. So you just go ahead. Now for the shotgun saddle, it is all metal. Um, it's held down by, I think, six small screws. So you can go ahead and put your shells in. All right. Here we have two QD slots. There we go. So if you want to run a sling and then moving to the iron sights, um, they are flip up. And in order to drop them down, there is a, uh, a push button. Pulls down. Now for the handguard, it is full metal construction. Um, so when pumping the shotgun, you have to make sure that you go back all the way and then all the way forward for the VBs to properly feed. Um, so this shotgun does have three barrels. I'm not sure how to remove the inner barrel barrels itself. So this little clip here is to keep the three barrels stable on the end. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to remove these quite yet, but I'll, I'll figure that out. And then that's where this end cap comes in right here. So it'll close off the shotgun. I do like that look better, um, but where we play, we play pretty long range. We don't have indoor, um, indoor fields. Okay, so this end cap here, this can store, I think, two shells. Um, I wouldn't put shells in here just for the reason that it's going to take so long um, just to get this part off. Yeah. So yeah, you can fit two shells in there and it has a spring inside. Um, that would just be frustrating to deal with so what i did order um, was from hrt uh, tactical gear they had a uh, a uh, now with the matador ssg annihilator mod 2 um it does shoot three or six rounds at a time now in order to to do that you have to pull the handguard back and then just here, you have a switch. So it's already set on three, and then that's set on six. Forward is six, back is three. So I ordered another uh, Sigsar Romeo 5. Um, so that just came in, so I'll go ahead and I'll put that on, and we'll see how that red dog looks, okay? All right, so I got the Romeo 5 on there. Um, I like the look of it with the red dot like that. Now I'm not sure about putting a magnifier on a shotgun um, or even, even a scope. So please leave a comment below how you guys feel about putting a magnifier on a shotgun. Now where I play, it is outdoor only. We don't have an indoor CQB place to play, um, but this shotgun does have very good FPS and very good range. Also, if I'm using red gas, um, that can help big time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Matador SSG Annihilator Mod 2. Like, subscribe, and until next time, guys.